Cesar Hernandez. The National League's leading hitter to this point takes his swings. Next. Jalen Beeks is on the mound for game two. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, you take a look at that ERA. That's a little bloated right now. This guy's a better pitcher than that, but he hasn't been real consistent. One good game, one bad game. I think what he needs to do, if he can string together three or four good quality games in a row, that ERA will start creeping back down. He definitely needs to start pitching a lot better than he has up to this point. And it'll be interesting to see if he can turn it around in this one. Down the first baseline. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They're on a great run of late as they come in winners of seven of their last nine games. Yeah, Maddie, this team finds itself with a huge lead. Double digits right now and climbing, playing really good baseball. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to have that big a lead. You start resting on your laurels. I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right to kind of get some guys off their feet if the manager wants it. There's a lot of different ways you can go about it. This team's focused in playing really good baseball. I would not worry about it. Keep pushing the throttle. With that, here's the starting lineup for the visiting Philadelphia Phillies. Who are you focused on, Dan Plezak? Well, one of their hotter hitters has been Carlos Santana. This guy knows how to drive in runs. Had over 25 runs batted in. Now that ball's hit well, deep down the left field line, headed toward the foul pole. And it's a foul ball. Temperature here at the park tonight, a comfy 72 degrees at first pitch. Chopped weakly to the left. Devers has it. And there are two away now. Batting third, second baseman, Cesar. Hernandez. Stepping in, Cesar Hernandez. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate, to say the least. First pitch of the at bat. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Two out, nobody on. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. Line drive to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. The relay. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. So he picks up another hit. First of the game, but as we've mentioned, it's just one of many so far this season for him. Yeah, Matty, I know he's fighting for a batting title right now, but the consistency this guy has shown from start to finish this season has been awesome for this team. Talking to the manager before the game, he's the one guy. This ball's down, and that could bring in a run. And the run will score as the Phillies are off to a 1-0 lead. Hey, that's a big RBI single right there, d -Row. They lost the first game of this series, and they certainly don't want to fall behind and may potentially lose the first two games of this set. Without question, Dan. Offensively, you're just trying to grind it out, give your team a chance, give the pitcher a chance to relax a little bit, even the series up, hopefully, and fight it out tomorrow. So now Carlos Santana. Now a swing and Santana hits this one high in the air out to deep left field and it's gone into the monster seats. It's a two run shot to straight away left 38th home run of the season for him and the Phillies open up a three to nothing lead. Yeah, you never want to give up anything in the first inning, but to go down 3-0, it's just painful. Can't afford any more early mistakes, or the hole's going to be too deep to climb out of. Hit out towards second. Nunez ranges to his right. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning.
but they strike for three in the inning two on this two run home run bottom of the first coming up from the fins it's now Jake Arrieta will be on the bump for game two of the series Dan Pleszak what's the word on him. Hey Matt coming on now to pitch his former NL Cy Young Award winner Jake Arrieta good fastball 95 to 97 great overhand curveball in a straight changeup former Cy Young Award winner if he brings his A game it's going to be a long night for the hitters these Phillies as they enter play here tonight fellas they come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they brought five of their last eight ball games. Yeah Matty you never know right here interleague game. When the weather gets cold, this could be a nice harbinger to what we're going to see in, in, in the fall classic right here. Two first place teams going to lock horns in a battle, and I'm jacked up. First pitch here is a slider, but that's taken up and away for a ball. It's 1 and 0. Oh. Ball and a strike. Hey, he's not going to get away with that all day. He's got to find a way to get on top of that ball and bury it. And set up working the plate is Matthew Ross, as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. Hey, D. Rowe, this is a pitcher's best friend, Matthew. High in the air and deep is straight away left. Huskins is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. With that, here's how the hometown Red Sox line up in this one. Thoughts, Dan? Who stands out? Well, you know this club is definitely hoping for more out of Hanley Ramirez in the near future. He went 0 for 3 last game. No big deal. Only three ABs. But it was the way in which he looked going about those ABs. He didn't have a good look to him at all. We'll see if he can bounce back in this one. One and one. One and one. Aye. And he takes a cold strike two. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Boy he's having a hard time just putting the ball in play right now. He took the hat trick with three strikeouts yesterday and here's another one today. Looks to me like he just needs to simplify his approach and focus on making some contact. Swing and a miss and that ends the inning. Red Sox leave one. Into the box now, Michael Franco. He enters play at number six in National League batting average. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. As a pitcher you got to feel good that you had him out front even though he didn't pot commit on that one. It opens up a lot of weapons for you to go high fastball or throw even a better off speed pitch. Benintendi is there and he has it for the first out. So here's how the Bo Sox are positioning themselves defensively. And we get to watch one of the best right fielders in the game today. He brought home gold last year. We know a right fielder profiles as a huge offensive producer. But this guy covers a ton of ground all the way to the foul line with a strong throwing. Line. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. And they're able to get the ball in quickly so he'll be held to a single with one away. Boy after that base nice. knock right there Dero he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tough staying inside the ball not trying to do too much. First pitch of the at bat on its way. But gloved by the third baseman for the out. Now batting, the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First offering on its way. Now a ball grounded foul over toward the coaching box. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. one, and one. Up around the face. Crawford is off of first with two away. Zero. Sliders in for a strike. A 
swinging bunt to the mound. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Philly strand one, but they lead it 3 nothing. Here's Mookie Betts. He'll lead it off against Jake Arrieta. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Curveball stays a little high that time. Love jumping out to an early 3-0 lead, but this game is far from over. A lot of innings left to be played. He's going to have to continue to execute out on that mound. Two and zero. Three and zero now. Andrew Benintendi waits on deck. Comes with a slider, three and zero, but gets it over for strike one. Now that's a really curious pitch selection. 3 0 and turned to the slider. You have to wonder if maybe he's lost the feel for his fastball. Missed with a breaking ball. Nobody out, runner on first. Betts is on the move. A swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. And here's a slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning. So here's how the Phillies are positioned defensively. And guys the thing I want you to take a look at today is in today's game the new age everyone wants to move around this manager does not like to shift a lot. Maybe a step to your right or left but there's a lot of trust that the pitchers are going to execute. So let's see how it works out for them in this one. Now at the plate, Hanley Ramirez. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Not his best effort that time. It's strike one. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Ramirez is slugging north of 480, which puts him among some of the best power hitters in the game in that category. Comes set, and the 0-1 is in there for the second strike. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? There's another slider. That's back-to-back -back good sliders, and this guy's breaking ball is really good and when he's throwing it well like he is and he's confident with it he can throw it three or four times in a row a really good slider in this one here comes another 0 2 fouled away runners on first with one down oh and this is swung on and missed four strikeouts already and that's out number two really good late bite on that slider right there the best ones have that late action that just starts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. He went deep in the contest last night. From the stretch. Now here's a slider that can't quite get back to the outside corner. It's ball one. Two out with the man at first. In for strike two. Pretty good pitch to hit there that he let go. I know it's early and they're probably wanting to run his pitch count up, but he may not get another pitch like that to swing at the rest of the game. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here.
the one two and this will be fouled away Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Throws it on strike three for the final out of the inning. One left for the Red Sox. Still down three nothing. Striding forward now is the D.H. Scott Kingery. He got on top of one. It was a ground out victim last time. First pitch on its way takes this the other way to right but this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first down and with that we'll give you a quick look at our current standings in the AL East so digging in now Cesar Hernandez he'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here First pitch coming, here it is. Here's Bogarts, the young shortstop. And quickly, there are two away. How about it? Left so field. next to the plate for the Phils, Reese Hoskins. He singled his last time up. Rip down the line. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. The relay and the gamble will work out. He's in at second base with a two out double. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking too right out of the box. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. Here's Carlos Santana now, as he'll send a ground ball down to third. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two out double. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Stepping up now, A.J. Ellis. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Front door curve is taken. Yep. Strike two. Okay. Hey, I don't blame him right there. Giving up on that inside curveball, little front hipper. That's a tough pitch. You just can't figure out where the point of contact should be. And he fouls this one off. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Fouled off. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Ranging back is Herrera on the warning track. He makes the catch. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Stepping into the box, Eduardo Nunez, one for one after a single this first time up. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Looks at a curveball over the inside corner. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. Well, we're all hearing his name in the Cy Young Award discussions at this point in the season. It's pretty hard to argue against it when you watch him dominate a guy on three pitches and send him packing without much problem. Swing and a miss and he's behind 0 and 1. Flied out in his first at bat so make him 0 for 1 so far. Arietta's got his target. Here's the 0 1. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Red Sox. They trail in this one 3 0. 
Now at the plate, Nick Williams. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First offering on its way. And that's by him. It's 0 and 1. You might see a change of game plan right here from the pitcher and catcher. They have to find a way to get these guys off that early count heater. Look for a little bit of change of pace. Mm, got him out on his front foot. It's 0 and 2. Line toward right center. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. Well, when you're going as well as he is, not even a two strike count is going to get in your way. Yeah, Maddie, he's having a monster season. Well over 300. Right there, when you're feeling that confident at the plate, it doesn't matter what the count is. You're willing to go deep and still feel confident. From the stretch. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. The second for one. On to first, and they get the double play. The batter, number two, shortstop, J.P. Crawford. Digging in to try it again, J.P. Crawford. A base hit in his first trip. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. He's finding his groove out there now. It's 0 and 2. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Phillies go down quietly there, but they're on top by a count of three. Here's J.D. Martinez. Both for one for him here in this one. Martinez. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Sharp inside. slider that time. Just missed inside. Hey. A cold strike on the inside corner. This guy has been throwing the ball so well, and that's exactly why. He has such a feel for that secondary pitch. He can flip it over whenever he wants and get back in the count. A ball and two strikes now. The one two. It's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. Oh man he's been absolutely getting overmatched at the plate the last oh, couple of games. That's his fifth strikeout in this series Michael alone. So clearly this pitching staff they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. Stepping in now, Michael Conforto. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time, every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings, but interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And he punches out another one, make it nine for the ball game. He's really on a roll right now on the mound. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to wrap up the last inning. And now he started this frame with the same story. Four straight strikeouts in all. A ball of no strikes. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out. So we'll see if he can fare any better. Now the 1-0. Is swung on and missed in that strike one. Betts who's often just referred to as plain old Mookie. He was a fifth round pick back in 2011. Hey when you come out of the middle round you have to grind for everything. And that's exactly what this guy has done and he has turned himself into a solid big league ball player. The one two. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Crawford fields it cleanly and the throw just does beat him at the bag so the side is retired. Red Sox go down one two three. They trail it here three to nothing. Striding into the box, Jorge Alfaro comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Jorge Alfaro.
Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit out towards second. Oh, look at the sliding stop. He's out. Wow, what a great show of range there. This ball looked like it might get through up the middle, but check out the sliding stop, and that's going to take him right into a good throwing position where he's able to get enough on the throw to get him out at first. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. Hit toward the right side, and this will get taken in at first for the second out of the inning. The batter, number four, designated hitter, Scott Kingery. Ready once again, Scott Kingery. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. First pitch coming, here it is. Ground ball left side. Devers fields it cleanly. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. And as a former pitcher, I can tell you, nothing is more painful than having to get extra outs in an inning. That should have been out number three there. Instead, he has to refocus and get back to work. Into the box now, Cesar Hernandez. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Nunez ranging into shallow right, and that ends the inning. One error in the inning, but it doesn't hurt him. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Phillies lead it three to nothing. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. He leads off in the bottom of the fifth as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. One ball, no strikes to count. Left it up in the zone, but it's a strike one and one. I know to the fans that probably looked like something good to hit, but unless you're sitting breaking ball right there, I don't care if it's middle of the plate. That's a tough pitch to pull the trigger on. Little dribbler up the first baseline, but that one rolls foul. When you have two strikes on you as a hitter, if you get something that you can handle, you have to find a way to do some damage with it. That was a missed opportunity. Another 1-2 delivery. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And that is through into right field for a single. You don't see that too often. You starting to get in swing mode and you start fouling off multiple pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag if he'll throw it. Nice job by the offensive player to get himself a base hit. Here's Hanley Ramirez. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Just caught the inside corner with a sinker. Tough slider down low for a strike. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Here's a high pop-up. Franco has a play. One out. Now batting. Third baseman, Rafael Devers. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. He's 0 for 1 thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Here's a strike. Benintendi, base runner at first with one out. Yeah. The breaking ball that time in for a strike. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. 
And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. That's ten strikeouts for him now, and I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. He's set. Here it comes. And a slider on the inside for strike one. You know, they finally get the leadoff runner on. It, it would be sad to watch him waste this opportunity. Somebody's got to come through with a base hit. Behind 0-2 now. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Red Sox leave one. Still down. Digging in and looking for more. Reese Hoskins set to lead us off in the sixth inning. First pitch coming. Here it is. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Waiting on it is Benintendi. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. This guy's not wasting any time, right? Gets a first pitch fastball, and he flies out deep on the first pitch of the inning. Carlos Santana will stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. First pitch of the at-bat. Started nope. to go around there, but he holds up ball nope. one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. The 1-0 home. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. Ben Intendi in pursuit, but he won't get there. It falls in. Man, he's seeing it like a beach ball right now. Even his soft contact is finding holes. He's making it nearly impossible for a pitcher right now. Up, down, in and out, hard, soft. Anything you throw forward to home plate, this guy seems to somehow be able to find a hole. Now the Red Sox skipper's up out of the dugout and on his way toward the mound. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. Matt Barnes is on his way into the ballgame now, so he'll be making his 50th appearance of the year. Up next will be Nick Williams as he connects on the first pitch with a fly ball to center. And that's in there. Base hit. He'll get it into second. Oh, and the throw back in is a wild one. So a struggle that time for him in center field, and as a result, he'll be tagged with the E8 on the play. Into the box, Michael Franco. No hits to this point. First pitch on its way. Breaking ball in for a strike. In a double play situation, that's the location you want a guy to swing at. More than likely, he's going to beat it into the ground. I'm set with the 0 and 1. And a check swing here, but he pretty clearly broke the plane, and it's 0 and 2 now. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Betts has a read on it. Two gone. Now batting. Crawford. And that'll bring in J.P. Crawford. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Here comes the first pitch. Hit on the ground toward the left. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Phillies leave a couple. They lead it three to nothing. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Eduardo Nunez. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. 
Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Line drive to left. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is called in for the first out. So another exceptional effort for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here as we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you can see there, he in fact leads the NL in that category. Here's Xander Bogarts now. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. line towards center field and he will make the play out there and there are two away now now batting the designated hitter J.G. Martinez stepping up to the plate J.D. Martinez he got called out on strikes his last time through hey. and that's in there for strike one oh and one All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. Looking to send him packing again. A ball and two strikes. This is one of those classic cases of the right guy at the right spot. They need to get a rally going, and this is maybe their best hitter, so he's the right guy in the right spot for this team right now. Swing and a little tapper. Two and two. And he's got another one here. Twelve punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. Welcome back to Fenway Park here in the great city of Boston. It's on to the seventh inning now with the Phillies out in front, and it's a good time to check out our game summary through the first six innings so far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Around first, he's digging for second. And the Phillies are able to get things started with a leadoff double. Managers these days like to think of that nine hole hitter as the second leadoff man, and he plays the role pretty well right here. Gets the leadoff double, and now he gives the real leadoff man a chance to bring him home. Into the box, Odubel Herrera. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. And that's in there. Base hit. And they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners with nobody out. Well, it took him till the seventh, but he gets his first hit of the game here, and that'll extend his hitting streak. Yeah, and he didn't come out of his he didn't come out of what he was trying to do all day, Dan. Kept the front shoulder tough, kept the ice water in his veins and didn't try and get too big. Extends the hit streak. Nice job. You know, D-Row, I talked to him before the game about the streak, and he said the toughest part is he hopes to get hits early in the game to take the pressure off. He had to wait to the seventh inning in this one to come through. First delivery to him on the way. Into right field, that's a base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs into score from third. That makes it a 4 nothing ball game. Hey, that's what you try and do as an offense. You get a four-run lead. They're a grand slam ahead, Dan. But you're a former closer. Warm it up. When you see a three-run lead and then your offense gets it to four, and you know that same situation's gone out the window, don't tell me that, dude. Oh, it does hurt oh. you. Be oh, it does because, <laughs> Dero, the only way you're going to get into this game is it has to be a save situation. You sit and watch eight innings of baseball, you get up to warm up in the ninth, and you're all ready to go thinking, hey, I'm going to come in and get me a three-out save. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. Now a 5 nothing lead. So that's his second yeah, knock of the game, and you can add this to his ever-growing list of multi-hit performances this season. Does this guy ever look bad at the dish? I mean, really doesn't. Fighting for a batting crown, throwing out multi knock games daily. It's going to be a fight to the finish right here.
First pitch of the at bat on its way. And not the greatest of starts to the at bat as he reaches for one out of the zone for strike one. Hey, he gets a pass right there for that ugly swing. He's been having a monster season. Take a step out of the box, regroup. He'll get right back in this AB. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. On he looked like a caveman swinging a club on that one. It's 0-2 now. I just think after seeing both those pitches right there, 96, you have to be on the fastball or you're not going to catch up. If you're sitting off speed, that fastball is going to blow right by you. This is foul right side. Kingery on second. Hernandez at first with no outs. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. So now Carlos Santana. Liner into right center. That's a base hit. And add one more as this is now a 6 nothing ball game. I mean, that had to feel good right there, Dan. That's his third RBI of the game and extends his team's lead. They might have this one locked up. Well, I tell you, those are always big, those add-on insurance runs. Big RBI right there for a little bit more breathing room. Up next will be Nick Williams. Three across so far in the inning and another two out there on base. Yeah, Matt, and this inning's really starting to get away from them on the defensive side of the ball. Stranding the rest of those guys out here feels absolutely essential for them at this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now a swing, and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. Now batting, third baseman, Michael Franco. So striding forward now, Michael Franco. He flew out in his last at bat. First pitch of the at bat. Skied into straightaway right. Bats on the run. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So they strike for three runs on five hits, no errors, and a couple of men left on. They'll get up and scratch here at Fenway. Philadelphia is on top, six to nothing. So here's the cleanup hitter, Michael Conforto, and he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for two with a pair of strikeouts thus far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. This is line to left. Hoskins has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. So he's still got his shutout working here in the seventh. And with that in mind, we check out the league leaders in shutouts. And as you can see there, he finds himself in a flat-footed tie for the National League lead in that category. Next up for the Red Sox, Mookie Betts. He was a ground-out victim last time up. And a check swing here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. One out, nobody on. High pop up. Alfaro waits on it. Two down. The center fielder number 16, Andrew Benintendi. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. He's one for two in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh, Tough good. pitch to lay off. The slider stays high for ball one. No runs, two hits, and two Boston errors to this point in the contest. Hit to first, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They won't make a dent in a six to nothing deficit. Yeah. 
Keith Hembree comes on to pitch now, now hoping for better Red results Red than the other Number arms that they've run out there in this Keith one. Hembree. And that'll bring in J.P. Crawford. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. He's set and the pitch. Way in front of a great slider that time. Here's Bogarts, the young shortstop. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. I know that has to be frustrating from a pitcher's standpoint, but nice execution, nice hustle. Bottom line, nice hustle. Pitcher still one good pitch away from getting a double play. You know, D-Row, one of the things you want to do is make quality pitches as a pitcher, and there's not much you can do right there. You make a pretty good pitch, and the next thing you know, you have a leadoff single on an infield ground ball. In now, Jorge Alfaro giving chase his Benintendi. Makes the play, one away. Now Time to take a look at our starter Hello. comparison to this point, and the telling numbers can be found on the left side of your screen. Zeros in the run and earned run columns. First delivery to him on the way. No balls in one strike. Six runs, 13 hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Grounded back up the middle. One there. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Here's Hanley Ramirez. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how this starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Williams moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for route number one. So you've got to figure he's got a good chance here to finish this one off, and with that in mind, we take a look at the league leaders in complete games. And as you can see there, he in fact leads the NL in that category. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. And his dominance continues on the mound, but it seems like he might be running on adrenaline only at this point. Yeah, he's been so great in this one. You want to see him finish what he started, but you also have to start worrying about things like injuries. He's thrown a lot of pitches in this one, and some guys are just more capable of that than others, but not a lot of good things tend to happen when you've worked as hard as he has in this one. And this pitch is right down the middle, strike one. Guys, I've been really impressed with him tonight. I mean, he's carving these guys up with all of his pitches. And a pitch up and in, keeping him honest, one and one. One and two to the Red Sox catcher. Here's another one, two. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Missed with a slider. Coming up on the century mark in pitches now through the first seven and two thirds. And he's going to empty the bucket right here. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Down in order go the Red Sox. They still find themselves down six zip. Welcome back to baseball on MLB Network from Boston, Mass. We're set for the final innings of this one. Stepping in and ready for another Leading shot, for Scott Kingery. He'll lead Matt things Kingery off Kingery. as they look to perhaps Scott build on an Kingery. already sizable lead. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Line drive to center field. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. So the Phillies get a man on to start out the inning. Now batter. Second baseman. Cesar. Digging in once again, Cesar Hernandez. 
He's doubled and singled in four at bats in this contest. And a feeble swing that time. It's 0 and 1. Wow, not sure what that was, but talking about having your mind made up, you're going to swing before the pitcher even throws a pitch. I don't know how you swing at that pitch. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. That's back toward the mound. This will be a tough turn, however. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Object for Philadelphia. Left fielder. And that will bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. From the stretch, a swinging bunt up the third baseline. Spin throw gets him at first. A great play there as runners do move up to second and third. Now batting, the first baseman, Carlos Santana. Digging in, Carlos Santana. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. First delivery to him on the way. Hit hard on the ground to second. Nunez has it. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Probably wanted more out of that at bat with runners in scoring position, but at least he does the job and brings one home. Maybe the next guy can pick up the runner at third now. So coming to the plate, Nick Williams. Although there are a couple of bases open, and we'll see if they think about working around him. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Swung on and hammered. No doubt about this one. Watch it fly. Gone. So it's a two run shot to right center. Number 10 for him on the year as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. Wow, he really hit that ball well. Put a great swing on it with great extension, and it sailed right out of here. Stepping in now, Michael Franco, as he'll pick on the first pitch and line one back up the middle, and that's a base hit. So he waited till the ninth inning, but he comes through here to extend the hit streak. That was close. Yeah, Matty B, you see that wry smile of him coming out of the box right there. He knew what was on the line. He'd be lying if he did it. There's a lot of pressure on you because you're walking into that batter's box thinking, I have a nice streak going, and this is more than likely going to be my last A.B. He comes through in the clutch. Into the box now, J.P. Crawford belted high and deep into right center. Out of here to the deepest part of the yard. So it's a two run shot to right center number 11 for him on the season as the blowout continues. Well this game is definitely out of the norm from this guy. I mean his ERA is at the twos and they're just hammering him all over the yard. That earned run average will be on the rise after this one. Into the box Jorge Alfaro. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Popped up. And he's safe at first as he beats this one out by about a half a step. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. And looking to improve on a one for five effort so far. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Giving chase is Ben Intendi. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Now batting, Eduardo Nunez. He'll lead things off here as we play the bottom of the ninth. A ball of no strikes. A ball and a strike. I mean, that's just an awesome curveball right there. A 12-6 breaker with nasty downward tilt. You know, the game's getting back to that, that good four-seam fastball breaking ball instead of the sinker slider guy. 
Swing and a ball hit high in the air, deep down the left field line. This has plenty of carry, and that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. Well, they're not there yet, but a solo homer to lead off the inning will do wonders for any team's confidence. We'll see if the next few batters can continue the comeback effort here. Just need to spring some good at-bats together now. Here's Xander Bogarts now. And the starter remains out there despite just allowing the long ball. We thought maybe they'd go and get him, but no indication of that yet. Yeah, to me, that home run was a sign that he's starting to get a little bit tired out there. It was a good pitch to hit, and it's typically the command that starts slipping. Here's another one that's drilled. This one to left. And it's off the green monster. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. And he will make it up to third base as that is a gift there off of what was a terrible throw. Well, they're definitely starting to tee off on him now. And I do think it's a result of what we were just talking about. He seems to be laboring and not putting the ball where he wants to because of it. I think they've got to make a move here. And this is on the outside corner for strike one. Front door curve is taken. Strike two. Don't think for one second, after giving up already one homer, that he doesn't know where this lineup's headed. He's going to have to face the real sluggers right now, and he's going to have to execute. And Santana will watch it into the glove for the first out. The left fielder, number 30, Michael Conforto. Now in the box, Michael Conforto. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. From the belt, the pitch. Sharp slider that time, just missed inside. There's a good slider down and in at that back foot. That's a tough pitch to lay off as a hitter and a great pitch as a pitcher. That's one of those, how could he not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. Hit down the line at first. And he just misses with a curveball. Mookie Betts is on deck. He pulls this one into right. And this will hop over the wall, but the run will score. And this thing bounces over the wall, but I don't think it would have mattered if it stayed in the ballpark. Either way, the runner was going to score, and he was going to wind up at second. He drove that ball really nicely. In there, and it's 0-1. Conforto, the runner at second with one away. Here's one that misses high. It's 1-1. One Two and nope. one now to Mookie. After two breaking pitches, there's a pretty good chance right now you're probably going to get something right in the middle of the strike zone to swing at. So if you're looking for it, go ahead and turn that baby loose. Here now the 2 2. Sent on the ground out to second. Hernandez comes up with it. Throw on to first, and now the Red Sox are down to their final out. That's center field to number 16, Andrew. Benintendi. At the plate, Andrew Benintendi. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. In there, strike one. I know he stole a strike right there, but he better be careful with that curveball. That's coming across and catching a lot of plate. And if he stays back, he's going to drive that thing with some serious authority. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0 2. Last strike now for the Red Sox. High pop-up. Arietta is there. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Yeah, and sometimes you just need a guy to go out there and battle. It doesn't have to be pretty all the time, but just good enough to get the job done. Well, this guy, he was a heck of a lot better than that, going the entire nine innings, saving his bullpen, and getting the win. 11 to 2 is the way this ball game ends. The Philadelphia Phillies pick up win numbers.